There's some dogs all over the place. There's a doggy here. He's doing quite well. Dog's laying down. No big deal for him anymore. This dog going by. Good boy. Hey, good job. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That dog I didn't realize was going to start walking right towards us. But he got pretty close. Nice calm dog. He gets a little excited after, always a little bit more pulley after he's seen a dog, just because he gets a little worked up. Good boy! Nicely done. Well done. But no barking, no lunging. These are things that we like. And there's quite a few dogs. So there's a dog laying there, there's a dog under that bench there, and that dog just like walked past us. And he looks pretty relaxed to me. Doing a good job. Really improved. Like, you guys have done a great job. Um, I've seen a huge improvement. So just a, you know, a little bit more keeping on with the same routines. He's watching that dog now. Kind of a young, large dog. Looking at him, we'll see if the dog's looking at him now. We'll see that he can still that. Yeah, no problem. Good boy. Not getting his scruff up, not pulling towards them, not huffing or anything. He's doing really good. Good boy. And easily turning away. Like he, oh, you got your band-aid off. Like last time he was here, he really struggled with these kinds of busy environments and he's doing so well. We've seen a bunch of dogs and he's done really well. And the only time that he did a lungy bark was when a dog came really close. Like it was, I wasn't thinking it was gonna come that close. That person kind of changed direction at the last minute from me. And, um, and they came like five feet away from us and it was a big husky. You know, it was ignoring him, but it was a big dog. And part of it is he's uncomfortable meeting new dogs. He's a little nervous. So um, he did he did one big lunge. I told him no, grabbed his collar, and he just stopped. So it was manageable. I, he didn't continue on. He didn't try to drag me or anything like that. So he's doing quite well. I'm pleased with how he's doing. And his leash walking is improving slowly. Busier urban places, he still needs a little redirection. So we're still turning directions. Um, if he starts to pull ahead too much, I just turn around and walk the other way, like I showed you last time. So, um, so say he went ahead like that, I go this way, and turn around, and he comes back. Just so that you're always in front, basically. So he's always practicing following you, not the other way around and following him while he's dragging. And if he were to drag, which he's doing much less of, if he were to hit the end and start... See, so he's hitting the end and he's stopping. This way. Good boy. And then using those words helps him change direction there if he hits the end and he tries to drag into it and the only time he's doing that is when he's trying to sniff pee um still a no-no like sniffing's fine but we don't drag to sniff so if he were to um try to drag you always walk the opposite direction from where he's dragging there is no dragging towards anything if you drag towards it you don't get to go see it good, good. come into the shade good boy um, yeah, and his stay is really improved. He's able to like focus, boy, in busier environments. I'm just really pleased with the practice you guys have been doing. It's pretty amazing the difference in him in just a short period of time. So, so that's great. Mommy got it. Yes.